Hi, it's my time to shine. I'll be covering the Sagittarius general read. These will be timeless, not date stamps. So whenever you get to it or whenever it resonates for you, this will just be for you. Um, I'm going to be doing things a different way far as just my pop-up readings. I'm just going to pick a card and or a few cards and then it'll tell me what sign I need to go next instead of using my head and or use my ego to decide who go next. I'm not going to do that no more. Even in my tarot spreads, I'm going to start, you know, just seeing what the divine say, who goes next. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. This may not be for every Sagittarius because this is not a private reading. So it may hit home. It may not. Some people get mad when they read my readings or they got something to say. I don't want to like hear none of that. That's why I got my comments and stuff off because I'm not ready for that yet. I don't think I'm strong enough to hear people negativity without responding negative back. Once I get into that mindset, then I'm going to turn my comments on because it's not going to make me a difference. But right now, I don't need to hear anything you have to say. Either you could like it, listen to it, or just move on to the next reader. Universe, Spirit, Guide, let me read these readings accurately, officially, and you I will always trust no matter what. Amen. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. The bottom of the deck is coming up out of making a decision. So you may have a decision that you have to make, but you're not making it. You're coming up out of it. Like you're coming up out of being at a crossroads or you might have made the decision. We want to see because swords represent Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Truth and clarity. So we'll see what's up. What's the energy of my Sagittarius? Wow. Mm. What's my energy of the Sagittarius? What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? Mm. What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? Too many cards. What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? Whoop. What's the energy that surrounds the Sagittarius? Okay, the first card you have is the tower. Something was built on a faulty foundation that comes tumbling down. That's your overall energy, and this is your card. You also had the Seven of Swords trying to get away with something without somebody seeing you. Not good energy. Four of Wands. Coming into a union with somebody. Something from the Divine. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Your present energy, you got the hair in front. Basically, this is somebody when you need to go pray. This is a Taurus energy. You have the judgment. You're going to get judgment over a situation. You got the Eight of Wands reverse. Something's not coming to you like you think it is. You got the Six of su Cups. Somebody from your past is coming back. Could be your childhood. The motions in check could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Or this is just somebody um, from your childhood or somebody from your past that you was in a relationship coming back. You got the Six of Swords. You're just trying to leave the past behind and move forward. And then you got the two of wands having the whole world in your hands, as you may think. So I'm going to clarify some things. I'm going to go all the way back to this tower. What? Whoa, that was too many cards. Put me in the Sagittarius energy. What's the energy? Okay, you got the page of Roz coming up out of making something happen, which is Sagittarius, Aries, a Cancer. What surrounds the Sagittarius energy? What surrounds the Sagittarius energy? You coming up out of a third party situation or, or a heartbreak, lies, and betrayal. You got the Empress. 
Libra Capricorn energy. What's the in you got the two of pentacles? You're trying to stay balanced in this situation. I'm going to your present. I'm gonna clarify this hair font. Why is this hair font here? What energy surrounds this hair font? You got the hair font double whammy, but you also got the six of cups. Somebody is coming back from your past. And your emotions not gonna be attacked because you really I don't think want to deal with the drama. And you got judgment reversed. So that's not a good card. You're not going to get judgment over something that you ain't do right. It says with the hair fight, you could be dealing with a Taurus or in Taurus energy, or they got a Taurus in their chart. I'm going to clarify that hair font. You got the two of wands reversed, not making something happen with this person that's coming back. Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leah. Because you got the Knight of Cups. Somebody want to offer a cup of emotion. That's the slowest card in the deck with the Two of Swords coming up out of making the decision blindly. And then you're coming up out of defeat in the situation. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then you got the Ace of Rods reverse, not making something happen. For, and that's the universe taking back something from you for some situation. What's the energy? Uh, too many cards. And this was too many. What's the energy surrounding the Ace of Rods? Yeah, you got the Four of Wands reverse. Something to the universe is taking back. He not letting you make something happen. It could be a marriage or union. Okay. Yeah. You got the nine of swords. Feeling bound and tied up in a situation. With the page of cups reversed. Somebody want to offer you something. But it ain't nothing but a page of slippery fish. Yeah. Somebody coming back from your past. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to clarify judgment. You got the four swords. You coming up out of. Yeah, you coming up out of rest retreat and praying. What's the energy surrounding the four swords? What's the energy? That was a lot of cards. So I'm going to have to do them over. That was like tons. Too many. What's the energy that's around the four? Okay. You're going to be able to take up for yourself. Like, fuck out of here. Somebody will be coming at you from your past. It's the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. About some, um, I'm going to clarify the eight of wands. That's not making something happen. Something not coming to you like you thought. What's the energy? Mm, what's the energy surrounding the eight of wands? Universe, spirit, God, holy angels. Yeah, you got the three of pentacles reversed. You coming up out of keeping something close to your heart. Maybe some secret. Will of fortune. Things not going in your favor. What's the energy of this will of fortune? You got the ace of swords to cut through some bullshit. It came sideways, but we're going to clarify it. What's the energy of this Ace of Swords? You got the Page of Swords to cut through some bullshit to clarity and truth about a situation. But are you going to cut through it? Because I see that they still coming back even in your future. Let's clarify the Six of Cups again. What's the energy surrounding the Six of Cups? Who's coming back? The universe is going to give you a cup of abundance if you move forward. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be coming out of a painful situation, a painful ending. You're going to be coming up out of a painful ending. Let's see something. Cause you somebody yeah, cause it look like somebody for your past come back. The universe giving you a gift of abundance because you're going to deal with some pain, and once that pain you come out of that pain, 
or this could reverse the roles, you're going to want to move forward and either pass behind. To, and then have everything under control in your hands is what I'm seeing. But these two cards was turned. So I would suggest that you're not going to move forward in this situation that's coming back from your past. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or it could be some devil energy with this person that's coming back. Let's clarify this devil. Yeah. You got to have some patience for this situation. I'm going to clarify the Six of Swords. Okay, you got all these cards. Yeah, the Six of Swords. You're going to leave the past behind and you're going to go right to happiness maybe with a Leo. You're going to come up out of high in some secrets. You're going to come out of building something from the bottom to make it back to the top. You're going to come out of not seeing your blessings and thinking about all types of stuff could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces and you're going to make a decision about a lover or a choice that you're going to have to make soon you could be dealing with a gemini i'm going to clarify that lover's card what's the energy regarding yeah you thinking about something that you that you lost in the past and your emotions is all out for all to see, which is the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you just in that energy. I'm going to clarify what is going on. Yeah. You got the Four of Pentacles. You're going to come up out of holding your money or holding something close to your heart. Something's going to hurt you or wound you, but you're going to come out of that because you see he bleeding and she's holding him. So I don't know what's going to happen with that situation. I'm a, what's the energy of the four of pentacles? Okay. You feel blind and tied in the situation. You're going to get a fell victory out of some type of situation. But you want to take a chance in something that's going to bring you to have everything that you need. You want to have the whole world back in your hands is what I'm seeing. Let me give an overall read and an uh, overall card. What's the energy for an overall reading for the sign of Sagittarius? You got the Knight of Rods reversed. Like you're not going to make something happen. And I don't know what that could be. And I'm leaving you reading there. I want to get an angel guide and see what's going on. But the reading is complicated. Peace is just a thought away. Maybe you're going through something internally. Is what I'm seeing for Sagittarius. Peace, light, and blessings to all.